Hi there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another apartment hunting video. It has been quite a while since I've done one of these, but I know a very large percentage of my subscriber base subscribed to me because of my apartment hunting videos. I've done a few at this point. I did a few in Texas and I did a few in Denver here when I was thinking of moving here and I'm ready to do another one. I am happily situated where I am. I don't have any intention of moving anytime soon, but I do know the housing market has changed a lot in the past two years since I have looked at any other apartments. So just for my curiosity and because I'm sure you guys are probably interested too, I wanted to see what was out there and available in the year 2023. Let's light a candle and let's get into it. Sorry to interrupt, but I did want to pop in here really quickly and let you guys know that I'm hosting a giveaway here on my channel. As a way of thanking you for getting me to a thousand subscribers, I am giving one of you guys a $100 gift card to my candle company, Alchemist Candle Studio, as soon as we pass that thousand subscriber mark. So for all of the details and information, definitely check out the description box of this video Let's get back to the video. So at the time that I booked each of these three locations, they were all listed on Zillow for less than $2,000 a month, and each of them were at least two bedrooms. Now, as we'll see once we get into the stats and the details of each location, the pricing has changed a bit as it does with apartments, but I did just want to mention that at one point in time, <laughs> these were less than $2,000 each, and so I have a hunch that they will probably revert back to that lower range once we get out of the summer season. So for location number one, we are headed slightly northwest of True Denver out to the Westminster Broomfield suburb area. And this location is called MAA West Glen. I actually toured two different apartments at this location. So like I said, when I was signing up for the tours, each of them was for a two bedroom and that's what I was very interested in seeing. But after stopping in the leasing office and letting them know, you know, what my budget was, what I was looking for, I realized that their pricing had changed and a two bedroom was going to be closer to the 2500 end. So I asked if I could also see a one bedroom. So I have both of those for you guys. As of today, the price for a two bedroom, two bathroom, 999 square foot apartment at this location is $2,233 a month before any fees or anything like that. And then just to mention it here too, the price for a one bedroom, one bathroom at 546 square feet is $1,673 a month. Not a whole lot is included <laughs> with that rent price. This location had a lot of miscellaneous fees. So for parking, if you wanted to park in one of their garage spots, that's going to be an extra $150 a month, but they did have carports for $75 a month and then street parking for $10 a month. They have a monthly community fee of $18. Their common utilities, I was told, ranged from $150 to $200 every month. And then they have mandatory valet trash every month too, which is $25. So that actually brings the rent price up this much here <laughs> every month. So it's a bit steeper than what you might see from the offset. But with all of that, you know, comes amenities too. So this location is pet friendly. They have a dog park. They have a 24 hour fitness center. They have a pool and a jacuzzi area. They have a bike repair shop. They have a pet washing station. They offer a clubhouse, a fire pit, a grilling area, and then they have electric chargers for electric vehicles as well. Now, while that is a long list of amenities, you'll see as we go on that that is becoming the norm for locations. The only thing that really stands out from that list are the electric charging stations. Everything else was also included at the other three locations. So I think with this specific property, the draw was how modern and updated and just gorgeous everything is. Whoever built 
this property, whoever came up with the design features, did a really good job because it is beautiful. And not to spoil anything, but out of the three locations, this was definitely my favorite. And that's not just with the common areas. I think the finishes in the actual residences were beautiful too. And the area was really cute. The Westminster Broomfield suburb is very quiet. It's very clean. Um, it's a really nice area. So that was our first location. Okay, location number two. We are still in the Westminster Broomfield area, but this location is called Eagle's Landing. And I will say they were the most transparent about their pricing, one. But two, they also didn't really bother with a whole lot of miscellaneous fees, which is really nice because those can add up very quickly. So the two bedroom, one bathroom that I toured was 911 square feet and came in at $2,005. So really close to what I had originally seen advertised, but it had gone up a little bit. This location also offers garage parking for an additional $150 a month and I believe their street parking is free. They had a lot of parking throughout the community, um, but that's uncovered, obviously, and not secure, so on and so forth. But I see no mention anywhere in the little packet I have from them, nor on their website, that there's any fee for street parking. So that's nice. That's entirely free, it seems like. And then the only other miscellaneous fee at this location was their common utilities fee, which, it was explained to me that, that that is determined based not only on apartment size, but also the occupancy within your apartment. So say for me as a single renter, even though I'm in a two bedroom, since it's just me, I will pay less than someone who's in a two bedroom with like four occupants, if that makes sense. And they estimated that that would be around $100 every month for common utilities. And that was it. They don't bother with the stupid valet trash thing or <laughs> any other just miscellaneous bullshit fees that these apartment complexes are adding on nowadays, which I really appreciated that. And as far as amenities go, this location was a lot smaller than the other ones I toured, but it was more spread out, so it didn't seem very small. They still had a dog park, they are pet friendly. Um, they had a 24 hour fitness center. It was tiny, it was about the size of a closet, but they had one. <laughs> they had the pool and jacuzzi, they had a fire pit and a grilling area and a clubhouse. And they also had two playgrounds on site. So this definitely seemed to be more of a family oriented location. I think just from my opinion, this place seemed to be a lot more dated than the others, which is probably reflected in that lower price point. But yeah, I could tell it hadn't been renovated in a while, but even still, the apartments themselves were nice. I mean, they were clean, they were spacious. Your dollar goes a long way at this location, so definitely not a bad option. And again, you're still in that really nice Westminster Broomfield suburb, so it's clean, safe. I think this is a great option. And for our third and final location, we are headed a bit northeast of Denver to the Thornton suburb, to Ivana Thornton Station. At this community, I toured a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment, and it was 1,171 square feet, so the biggest out of all of them. And it came in at $2,170 a month. This was their highest pricing. The model they showed me was the most recent and most newly remodeled, so it was the priciest. They did have other versions of this available that hadn't been as updated. But at Ivana Thornton Station, that is a mouthful. <laughs> They do offer garage parking again, and this time it is $115, so a little bit cheaper than we've seen at the other two locations. And then they do offer street parking as well. That is $8 a month. Okay, I don't know why I didn't include this, but the common utility fees for this apartment complex range between $150 to $200 every month. Same amenities as we have seen, but with a few more actually. So they still have the standard 
pet friendly dog park, so on and so forth. They have a 24 hour fitness center. They had a Wi-Fi lounge and a clubhouse, which was fun. Um, the pool, jacuzzi, loungers, and grilling area. And then on top of that, something different from the other locations, they offered a full community kitchen. So if you're hosting people, you guys can go cook there in a larger kitchen than you'd have in your residence. They had a game room with like a pool table. I think they had shuffleboard in there. It was really neat. And then they had a whole sports court as well, which I didn't see the day I went because it was raining and kind of icky to get to, but I was told that they have a basketball court, a tennis court, and some soccer fields too. So that was fun. I will say too, this location, it was very nice and very pretty. It did almost feel like you were living on a golf course, if that makes sense. Yeah, it was spread out, definitely felt like golf course slash retirement community maybe, but it was very quiet, very well kept. Um, none of those are bad things at all. So just an interesting observation. <laughs> And that is what I was able to find for around the $2,000 mark in the suburbs of Denver. None of these are actually in Denver itself. They are suburbs, like I mentioned, but they're a quick 10, 15 minute drive from downtown Denver. So really, I think that's pretty close. All three are great options. And again, all three are at their priciest right now during their summer season. So I would definitely check into these if you're interested in that price point for two bedroom apartments. I think these are pretty good deals. And once we get into the fall, winter, spring seasons, I know these prices are going to go down a bit. So with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning into another video. Again, don't forget to go enter that giveaway that I'm hosting here on my channel, and I will see you in another video very soon.